finally here. <laughs> I have been waiting for so long for this rifle. All right, I'm probably opening it upside down, but I don't think that's gonna be a real problem here. All right, is it gonna, yeah. This over onto the couch. Oh, that's a nice case. All right, this is the case that the M1 comes in. As you can see, CMP, the Civilian Marksmanship Program. Crest there. Love seeing that. You don't see made in USA very often anymore. Oh, this is a really nice case. Has a nice little locking uh, port on both sides here for security. Okay. Oh. Oh. Right, we have a manual. Oh, it came with a came with a clip. I think this is the certificate of authenticity here. There we go. Sorry, I've blurred a couple things out here, but you know. <laughs> Why did I buy an M1 Garand? First off, the name, the Garand. You'll hear it often referred to as the Garand, but uh, John Garand, the Canadian American that designed this rifle, made it explicitly clear to everybody that he wanted it pronounced the same way as his name. And that is, it rhymes with errand. So this is a Garand. In the end, it's kind of a tomato tomato thing, but I try to say Garand as much as possible just to give that little bit of honor to the man that made the rifle that General Patton said was the, oh gosh, now I'm blanking it because I'm so excited. It was the, it is the best military implement ever devised, I believe was the quote that Patton said during World War II. <laughs> This is the rifle that is considered to have won the war for the United States. This is not a reproduction. There are parts that have been restored. There are parts that have had to be replaced. But the receiver, that is authentic. This is a beautifully crafted stock. The gun itself is just absolutely gorgeous. I cannot get over this rifle. We'll be doing a little more of a review down the road when I get it to the range and have some time to film it. But I just wanted to do an unboxing of this. I've been waiting for this. This is quite possibly while it's, I, don't, I hate to call it an obsolete rifle because of what we have in the world today. But this is one of the most iconic, if not the most iconic rifle from World War II, for especially in the United States. I never thought I'd own one. And <laughs> I'm just, well, you can see me shaking a little bit. I am just so happy. I think that's gonna do it for this video, everybody. If you like it, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to our channel because we've got a lot more content. We've got some content coming 
with uh, this rifle involved, uh, we've got got a couple little surprises coming, and we'll see if you all like this. If you if you do, really, really appreciate the likes and the support we're seeing on on YouTube. Anyway, as always, make it a great day, and we'll see you in the next video.